Are we ready? Are we ready? Are we yeah, live? we're we're, we're live, rolling, bro. man. Oh, we're well, live. We've been waiting on you. <laughs> right. uh, wanted to make it awkward. This episode of the Red Eye Report, we discuss gypsies. We tell tales of kinship, daring, and debauchery. And as usual, we bring the fucking heat to your mama. With me this week is the fluffy teddy bear. Teddy spent a summer with a gypsy family in northern England as part of an adopt-a-minority program that his school was running. He won't tell us completely what went down, but we know it was serious, because every time he hears an accordion, he shits his pants and forgets who he is for about 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah, the accordion is the gypsy version of the fucking banjo. <laughs> it is. <laughs> <laughs> Next to him is the all-seeing Oracle. Lost my place. I'll tell you what, Oracle didn't see... <laughs> I'll tell you what Oracle didn't see coming. Just how fascinated he would be with the inner workings of Major League Baseball. Right. <laughs> are, are you getting Are you getting MLB 22, buddy? You downloaded the show? For, come on. Is it out? Are you getting it? You going to play with us? April 4th. I'll try it with April the guys. April 4th. Yeah, he'll do it. There you go. All right. Yeah. We've also got a soot-covered ashtray. That's me. Gypsies. Gypsies once tried to put a hex on Ashtray for not paying his local psychic. I know, ironic, right? But instead of making his life harder, little did they realize that being able to only eat shitty deep-fried bar food was right up his fucking alley. True. Hey, I it thought, you know, by with reading my hand, I'd just give him a handy. With yeah. quality marinara sauce. Yep. On prego. <laughs> Last and least, I'm the mystic. Take it off, cunt. <laughs> pause for the cause all right yes that's uh, our weekly benefit event for the dane county humane society <laughs> open up helping out fluffles today fluffles yep. fluffles fluffles is fluffles. a four-year-old bunny yep if you want a rabbit with the cockeyed ear. The, yep, head down to Dane County. <laughs> Actually, uh, was in a lawnmower accident. Somebody <laughs> hit it with a lawnmower. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Hop in circles. <laughs> when you guys, I want to, I want to ask you a question. You guys think of gypsies? Like, what do you think? Gypsies, tramps, and thieves. That's what you think. <laughs> Fucking go full on share. Oh, like, like, what's the first thing that comes to your head? Um, I guess I think of Gypsy. I think of a fortune teller or someone who's Big coming price. around the neighborhood to try to work on your roof. Right, right. Yeah, okay. I think of like <laughs> European carnies. Yeah, that's basically what they are. They're just traveling, uh, fucking roaming. Brad Pitt and Snatch. Fucking con artists. Uh, yeah, they're pikeys, which are a form of Roma. So they don't like the term yeah, what's, gypsies. I guess I never really gypsies, know. The, the gypsies pikey is like a happening. pejorative. Oh, well, uh, it, it's good kind thing of we've got our. So, <laughs> yeah, we've named our... Sorry for all of our gypsies so, out there. Sorry for our gypsy audience. But no, is pikey a pejorative or pikes? Yeah, I'm assuming it is. It's like, I mean, Where I that think that's what from. British people call gypsies. Like, uh, I think, hike. but I'm not sure. Um, Cone. Anyway, the Roma, as they want to be referred to, are oh. an Indo-Aryan ethnic group. And I didn't know this, but they're actually from northern India originally. Really? Hmm. Is where, yeah, is where the, the, the religion, or the Roma religion, I guess, really came from. Uh, but it's since spread, obviously, all over the fucking world. Uh, there's an estimated one million of Roma Romani est- ancestry in the U.S., about 800,000 in Brazil, and then it just kind of goes down there um, for through other countries. Like, they have weird estimations, and I don't know if this is like they just don't know if these people are fucking gypsies because they're so nomadic. But, like, Turkey says they have between 500,000 and 2.7 million. So, I mean, that's a pretty fucking big number. Like, you know, like, you can't. Right. And narrow it down even far. I mean, five hundred thousand to you what? Said, you said the Roma two point seven million. Yeah, that's a gap. Right. That's but you also a say, about a you two million Roma... spread. <laughs> what, Teddy? But you, you also said the Roma religion. What is the Roma religion? Is it like roaming their their religion? Is that what they? No, it's um, 
Roma it's tomatoes. It's just, uh, they, they're called the Roma because Romania is like kind of where they came from. Northern India is like right into Romania. That's like the center of the fucking Roma. <clears throat> like, uh, the gypsy uh, hive. Culture, I guess, if you want to call it. It's weird because it's not really fucking like a fucking carpets a, everywhere. It's not, it's, it's predominantly like Christian. Like that's that's their religion is Christianity, but like it's a sect, the Roma sect. <laughs> it's kind of like pre, you know Presbyterian. Christianity, but there's fucking... only ten commandments. That whole stealing thing. They right, know. right. What? <laughs> like what the fuck? How did they end up like this? How come they can't settle down and get good jobs? I have no fucking idea. <laughs> so they come well, from the that... Punjab, the Punjab region of India, whoever the Punjab. fuck that is. Uh, so they especially racy. located in. Europe, Central, Eastern, and Southern Europe, uh, including France, Western Asia, like Turkey, Romania. Uh, and then, like I said, in the Americas, Brazil also, and Portuguese and Spain have big <coughs> Rome, Roma fucking populations. So, like, when I was thinking of these people, I, I, I started, like, thinking of that show, The Riches. Have you guys ever heard of that or seen it? I've heard of it, but... And I was like, man... In every fucking part of our culture, Roma people or gypsies are fucking portrayed as A, fortune tellers, B, like con artists that are going to fucking yep. repave your driveway or fuck your roof up or something and then, you know, right. scam you out of some and money. Steal your liquor. Right. Or like hey, fucking uh, the, the, like my big fat Greek wedding hat. type shit. You know what I'm saying? Where it's like this big like scumbag family. Like, you know, like, like there's just like, but, but it's not, it, it's not it's necessarily complete. the case. You know what I mean? There are, there are cases of that. What? Like, Stereotypes obviously. are not accurate? This is yeah, bullshit. Right, yeah. right. But, but, it, but at the same time, no they wonder are my life's always in this, this, they are absolutely in this culture. Like it isn't one of those, like. <laughs> They get a bad rap. No, these people are scumbags. Like that's their entire <laughs> culture. Like they're from from the day they're born, they're pretty much shown, shown how to like scheme. how to fucking scam people. Yeah, hey, that's like their fucking thing. It, that's just so weird wow. to me in the twenty first century. I guess I like, know, and it's even weirder that like they I don't mean, really. Uh, like, I was reading this fucking article. This is from 06, right? In the Los Angeles Times. So it's a little older, but this guy was talking, and I didn't know this, but there's actually, um, like, in the Roma culture, like, when there's these, they, they, like, snitch on each other, right? But they do it to, like, make money. It's so fucking weird. So, like, there's these cops. Like they, they'll uh, turn in name? their brother. If yeah, they yeah. If they can make a dollar off of it, right? Wow. So this cop, uh, he's, like, basically, they have what are called, and I forgot what the fuck, where the hell is the thing? Oh, Rom- Romanias. That means big Roma, right? Like, he's, like, the head of the family type dude. But he's the one that snitches on everybody. So, like, if he knows that, like, one of his people, like, committed a crime, he'll fucking turn this motherfucker in and then, like, post his bail to get him out to, like, gain favor with the fucking cops, right? Because, like, in certain, like, areas, like, in big gypsy areas, they have specific task forces that deal with just Roma crimes. And this is in the United States? Yeah, this is in fucking Philadelphia. Really? This guy, this one's in Philly. This uh, other one further down the article is from L.A. Um, gypsy, they're so-called gypsy experts, he says. They poison the minds of all the little cops. Uh, around, well, where the fuck? I'm sorry. I'm getting all over the fuck. You stoner. So, yeah, they say, quite simply, they say some crimes are disproportionately committed by members of certain groups. In the case of gypsies, they say that means fortune-telling scams, fake home repairs, store diversion burglaries, sweetheart swindles, which involves scamming lonely, lovelorn senior citizens, and burglarizing uh, the homes. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Sorry, they're rubbing grandma's knee. Yeah. So it doesn't <laughs> seem like any of this stuff is violent. Well, Does no, that... it, it isn't. 
sometimes it is. Like, there's this other article I was reading. This woman, this old lady, she fucking, uh, she was, like, leaving to get in her car. And this dude and this fucking chick pull up. And they're like, hey, your your tire's about to blow. Right? And she's, like, 90. He has no what? fucking idea going on. Yeah. And he's like, oh, you give me 200 bucks, I'll fix it. Right? And, like. So she like said she went to like she was gonna pay him two hundred dollars. She's like, I went into my purse, you know, and then he like grabbed her hand and started trying to rip her fingers off or her fucking rings off her fingers. And, like Jesus and then she like Christ. smacked him with her cell phone or something, and then he took off. Yeah, but like that's the type of shit that we're talking about. This is that this is what they're taught from fucking from like growing up. They're just gigantic <laughs> gangs of fucking like. People that nobody knows about. They just it is, this is like you said. This is the twenty first fucking century. Like this is weird. Yeah, this is shit really to me. weird to me. <laughs> you know, yeah, it's, think about yeah. man. People are always trying to rip people off. Think about all the scams on the fucking internet. Nigerian oh, princess. Yeah, right. Rumbaro. That's what they're called. Okay, so mm. uh, so here's the thing. Um. So called gyps. Where the fuck is the goddamn name of these fucking people, dude? <laughs> Get your glasses on. <laughs> oh, I can see it. Just what fine. is the fucking name of the people? I can see it. I just can't read. You remind no, me he of the Foot describes. Clan from the Ninja Turtles <laughs> that lived in the sewers. <laughs> Who looks like the Foot Clan? <laughs> the fucking gypsies. They're like, oh, you know, yeah. like this mysterious yeah. clan or whatever, stealing <clears throat> purses and living in the sewers. Jeez. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, uh, looking for that. I'm going to go grab a this beer. Be more, more European. So, I didn't think they'd, they'd be in the United States. Right. Um, so so here we go. This this one dude, his name, I don't even know how to pronounce his last name. It's S-G-R-O. Sgaro. Scro or some shit. I don't know. Um, But he's like widely regarded as like the gypsy fucking cop king like this dude has taken down like more fucking gypsy crime rings than anybody else right <laughs> uh and he said he says at the end he says never ever give them a business card they'll use it to say this is my guy or uh, never leave a message on the cell <laughs> phone because they'll say to their friends this is my detective same thing with answering machines he said on the flip side of the godfather request because these people actually like want him to come to their fucking like their their like weddings and shit so that they can say they know this detective. He's like on their yeah. side to like gain favor within the family and shit, right? But like everybody hates that they do that, but they all do it. Like and they think it's like doing it behind the other people's back, but they all fucking know that they're doing it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like this is my cop. This is my guy. Right, so uh, he said on the flip it's side, like, yeah, of the yeah, that's us. Tommy's guy too. Yeah, he also says he gets uh, retaliatory accusations and nicknames uttered in Indo-European tongue. He said they call me Obang, which means the devil. They called me that to my face. You're the devil. They don't like. They don't like being damned. <laughs> uh, well, so it they, says they, he's they, also they, became a legend because he's turned relatively small investigations into big time busts. A few years ago, he arrested four suspects leaving a ransacked house, linked them to burglaries of senior citizens in New Jersey and Philadelphia that led to searches of homes and safe deposit boxes in five states and the recovery of $1.8 million in cash Holy and another fuck. million in jewelry. Yeah. Damn. That's a lot of jewelry. Right? Yeah. 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 So, and then this other woman, one case that still haunts him involves 84-year-old Helen Award was approached in her Philadelphia home by two men pretending to be roof repairmen. One got on the roof, presumably presumably to begin work. Soon, both entered the home and demanded $3,000 from Ward, ten times what they had originally quoted. Remember, this is an 84-year-old woman. When she ordered them to leave, they crowded her and angrily told her they were going to drive her to the bank and that she was going to take out the money. Ward complied, <laughs> going to the bank and quietly bringing the money to the thieves. The men agreed to drive her back home. Uh, but they said they dropped her off far away and she'd have to walk. One of the men returned a few days later, banging on and kicking her door. A month after that, two other men parked in Ward's driveway and told her they were going to pave her sidewalk. By then, she was wearing a whistle around her neck, and the men fled. So Ward's health deteriorated, 
And nine months later, McDonald said he found her unconscious in her sleeping clothes, sitting in an armchair in the living room. She died several days later. She was probably afraid to sleep upstairs. Ah. Mm. Wow. This old woman, they terrorized this old fucking woman. Death. Yeah. Wow. Right. And then he said at the end, and this, I don't know why this quote gets to me, but he's, um, he says, still, how does, I, again, I don't know how to pronounce this guy's name, Scro. <laughs> know that these <laughs> suspects are gypsies. After all, victims often describe thieves as looking Hispanic, Middle Eastern, or Armenian. And his quote is, let me put it this way. I see a fancy egg on the front lawn. I'm not going to discount the Tooth Fairy or Santa Claus, but chances are it's the Easter Bunny. <laughs> I guess that's how you explain gypsies. <laughs> most likely, <laughs> most likely, it was a gypsy. Like who other? Who else does crimes like that? Yeah, you know what I mean. That's pretty stupid weird. people. Like you don't see bloods I mean, and I mean, crips out there fucking robbing old ladies. Old, probably like eighty-five year old women. Like that's what crackheads do and shit. You know, right? Like, fucking if these people or, like or like they, they, gypsies also or gypsies too. Yeah, like, that's that's fucking <laughs> goddamn gypsies. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> And, and in popular culture, let's say, we, you know, we got Snatch. That's a good gypsy movie. Ikey, whatever the fuck you want to call them. Uh, like I said, we got The Riches. If you guys have never seen that, that's a fantastic show. It only went two seasons. Is that? But it's like this gypsy family that HBO? takes the identity of this lawyer. <laughs> this guy is so good at, like, conning people that he, like, talks his way into be, being a trial lawyer and shit. Hmm. It's actually, it's really, <clears throat> really well. Eddie Izzard. Uh, HBO. Nice. I don't know what channel it's on. It was on years ago on FX, I think. I don't even know if you could find it on Netflix or Hulu, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Uh, but yeah, you guys, any gypsy stuff you like? Anything about um, gypsies? You know, I don't know much about gypsies. I don't um, either. That's why I'm so interested. Just those. <clears throat> I got a. Steri- I'm trying to think of a better gypsy movie. I, I was I was attempted to be pickpocketed by some gypsies. Yeah, that was another thing they said in Brazil, especially. Yeah. Apparently, like pickpocketing is their thing down there. It's big, yeah. Yeah, lady comes up to you with a note. It's like she asked there. She's asking who's who, uh, who 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 speaks English. My retired ass like I do, and then um comes up with this note written real small. My high ass is reading and shit, and then I feel like shit in my in my fucking pocket. <laughs> yeah, fuck. I'm like, what the fuck? Was I'm it like, her hand? No, it was no, it was like little kids and shit. Little they kids. fucking had yeah. yeah, kids had their hands in my pocket. I'm like, what the fuck? They get little so, kids. Um, so they gave they you a fucked. little tiny note to read so they could pickpocket you. <laughs> yeah. As I'm sitting there reading the note, I'm like, blah, 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 blah. what the fuck? <laughs> Wait man? a minute. Who's but um, but with the with the um. I had these. Uh, we bought these. Bought these little pouches that had our, our passport and getting carried our money in and everything else. But and I, I was wearing them at wearing as, as a belt and it was inside my pants. So like you you had you to couldn't yeah. reach it. Yeah yeah you couldn't you couldn't get to it unless you're yeah unless you're tapping my balls, buddy. But uh, <laughs> yeah. Did they just like run away then? As soon as you're like, what the fuck? Yeah yeah they run away. It was also, it was outside of the Notre Dame. No, <laughs> Not, uh, no um, they fucking punch him in. The- Oh, what do you think? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they kicked Teddy in yeah, the shins. Called yeah. him the expletive. And then around Chevy Fountain and stuff, they had signs. They, ha- they have signs that say, uh, uh, like, watch out for pickpockets. And they have cops looking for pickpockets. So, yeah, yeah, right. they tell you, yeah, they tell you to wear your the backpack in front of you. Cops are fucking in on it with them. <laughs> we'll let you guys They tell you to wear your work. backpack in front of you and shit, bro, because they... They're so they're so good that they they can they can take shit out of your backpack and you wouldn't know it. So G- gypsy cops are the worst. Hmm. <laughs> My God. grandmother, she's gonna be ninety eight years old, and she tells stories of the gypsies that would go on the river, um, around here in Wisconsin, and they oh, would yeah. be on like river barges or some shit and go from town to town. Really. So oh, I believe really that around. I don't know. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's. I don't even know if I've ever had an encounter with. I know gypsy. that's what I'm saying. It's so weird that there's this many, right? In this, in our culture, but they're just like 
It's like seeing a fucking <laughs> snow leopard in the wild or some shit. You know what I'm saying? And you're like, holy fuck. <laughs> well, it's a gypsy. Yeah. Thing is, too, though, snow it's like in the wild. You go to a <laughs> go to like electric forest, and half of the people there look like gypsies. Yeah, right. But it's just like it's an aesthetic now. Yeah. I mean, what, what does a gypsy look like? I mean, what is it? I mean, what's the word of the pattern tales? scarf? And, you know, usually uh, like a scarf. Flowers Anybody wearing hair. a scarf as a goddamn gypsy? What, <laughs> are you <laughs> describing Disney characters? Yes, I'm describing <laughs> Disney characters. <laughs> if you go to Electric Forest and you look at people with a wide enough lens, you realize they all start to kind of look the same, even though they're all looking like they're what is, cool, what is hip, Forest? independent. It's a um, fucking music festival. Oh, okay. People get high. It's like a, uh, it's, it's a music festival. EDM, yeah. Yeah. I've, yeah. I've been to them and I've heard about them. I know, I know what goes on there. <laughs> so, okay, so, so you know what, the, what modern gypsies look like? Fucking festival kids. Well, wait, okay, never mind. Those are gypsies. Those are. <laughs> I'm not saying they're, they're yeah. They gypsies. they call themselves gypsies. They like to oh, think they're gypsies. They? Yeah, they're like they fucking, gypsies. They spin. They're like, oh, I do hula hoop and I spin fire. <laughs> it's just like oh, you know. So they, it's like that. T- it's like that stereotype, like belly dancing gypsy type. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. yes. That, exactly. That's a good way to yeah, describe there it. Are the belly dancing, of fire thousands breathing. Of those people at right. Electric Forest. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. I watched uh, this. I watched this little documentary that was on Vice, actually. Of the uh, it's the there's like Romanias in the in fucking Romania. They're from Transylvania, right? Like mm-hmm. that's where like the center it's supposed to be, like the center of that fucking religion. Because they've had what are called ten Romani congresses, which means like the heads of these gigantic families will like meet somewhere in Europe like discuss like centralizing the language of the Romani people and all kinds of shit. Right. right? So they're like trying to like fuck it. They write the new uh, gypsy dictionary. They're trying to get their shit together. You know what I'm the saying? <clears throat> yeah. But like this family, this like town they were profiling, like they're all just of this one family. Like they said, they have to be careful, like not to inbreed. Cause like, they're all kind of related. <laughs> they're all like cousins <laughs> of cousins of fucking, you know what I'm saying? Like, and it's like fucking they all like the, this dude they were profiling. He has like six wives. Like I got 114 grandchildren and all this shit. And I'm like, holy, holy fuck, shit. man, this is crazy. This, they oh, just like breed like motherfuckers. So I wonder what it's like in uh, Romania and in Transylvania. Like, I, I don't what, think how are they like perceived? Criminals over there. You know yeah. what I mean? Are they? Are they like the pick? By, like that's what I mean. I, from what I was reading, they're pretty hated everywhere. Like they're looked down upon as like dirty people, shit, even in their you know, home especially country? in like Britain. Oh yeah, Act, yeah, mm. absolutely. Like they're not they're the top, like they're like they're the not hillbillies the top shelf of the uh, mm. their yeah. own country. So right. it's like if Walmart, a bunch of the rednecks like went out of the U.S. and like yes. Yes, it's like the entire state of Alabama just dispersed <laughs> across the world. <laughs> Started breeding. <laughs> started you know breeding I mean? and like yeah. fucking like I don't know, drinking Budweiser on their porches right. and yeah. having yeah. muddy In contests like and wrestling you know alligators. Yeah. yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> but like doing it in fucking Germany. <laughs> you know, like like just just roaming around kind of nice. fucking drinking bud. Okay, I think I understand what gypsies are now, now that we (laughs) put this in in that context. Uh, Great. (laughs) Yep. Only at the Red Eye Report do you Only the the finest advice. Yeah. Right. Make sure you put us in your bibliography. I'm probably going to get hexed or something. (laughs) You should. You should. Anyway, fuck it. Let's move on. Stop talking about gypsies or Romani, Roman, Romas. That was as far as we could stretch that topic. All right, Oracle. What's sexy? M E one remake. So Mass Effect one legendary edition that came out with this I think last year, maybe a couple of years ago, they remastered all the Mass Effects and put it into a nice package. And I finally made it through the first one. I'll put a video up here. It's like a comparison video. 
of the two. And so it's a remaster of the first. Yeah, it's a remaster of the game. I think maybe they might have smoothed some of the controls stuff. Definitely the graphics are quite a bit better. And um still holds up. It's a great game. It's just that kind of choose your own adventure style, right? Well, yeah, it is, but the openness, that's the thing, is it really stands out compared to open world games that exist now. You know, that's kind of like been all the rage um, for for a while now, or like these massive open world games. And this is a pretty linear game, but it has these hubs. Like you go to like the Citadel, which is like the main space station, and you can do like all these different side missions, but it's pretty good at keeping you on track of where you're going to go. And when you go out on missions, you can you you encounter these uh, different teammates. They join your team as you're uh, going racing across the the galaxy to to save it, and you can order them to into position and tell them to use their their powers and shit. And, what are you uh, trying to save the galaxy from again? And that's uh, I only played the first one. Well, the, the Gath, which are these robot fucking <laughs> people, and oh, the, yeah. um, the robot people. Sovereign, which is like this fucking they were they were spearing people in the first one, bro. Yeah, ancient bad guys that are playing everybody that will you know bring Armageddon or whatever. The game totally holds up, really good. And I just started the the second one, and they have this nice... I don't remember them having this when they originally had it, but they actually have like a graphic novel which covers what you've done in the game, and it's narrated by a shepherd, and it even shows the... Um, like the graphic novel will change uh. based on what you did, your decisions that you, you made. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, and it was uh, animated by... It has like Dark Horse comics on it. Um, so yeah, really cool, cool package. I believe this is on game pass now. I definitely recommend it. It's a good game. What's it called? Mass effect, mass effect, legendary edition. So it's, it's got like a launcher and you get, uh, all three of the games in that. Noise. Word. Check it out. Now we're going to move on to me and, uh, reacher. <clears throat> you guys what remember you the movie say? Reachers? The movies? No. It, now is that Jack Reacher? Yeah, yeah. yeah. The the Tom Cruise yeah, the Tom movies. Cruise movies. Yeah. I've oh, seen the first one. I really, I really <laughs> yeah. liked that movie. Actually. <laughs> okay. Was that so, like a ten year old movie? Yeah. Yeah, that's old. Yeah. yeah, sort of. Yeah. So this it follows. I I didn't know that these were a series of books. Like I think each one is like a new mystery. Like, so each book is a different story, and this one is whatever I book this is. Uh, but the guy who plays him is the dude that played in fucking Blue Mountain State. Motherfucker yeah, he's like, is like 6'5". Damn. Yeah, he's a big Ooh, dude. Fucking 60. I don't, just fucking yeah. yoked. And um, he also did the voice of, uh, I think, Raphael in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, yeah. Uh, but it's I like it because it's it's cheesy, but not to the That's point right, yeah. of being like like too cheesy. No, but it, like no, the fight fun, scenes, though. it is. That's but it's like, <laughs> but it's fun. It, it has a fun like fucking feel to it. It remind me of Happen Leonard. Ever watched Happen Leonard? No. Mm. Uh, it's like a they like solve crimes and shit, but they're just like regular dudes. Like this guy isn't a regular dude, but like. He's just fucking like the Where fight the scenes aren't the fight scenes aren't like, like abs- absolutely fucking over the top. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I don't know. He's bigger. He's bigger than everybody. He has to make him. He, he, he is a good. very big boy. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like good. that's that's he's how. Like, yeah, like like. Have, have, you, have you seen the prison air too? Have that, you seen the prison scene? fight? Yeah, I've seen I've seen it all. Yeah. Okay. Actually, the best scene I think is that stare. When he gives that dude in the fucking diner, Teddy, you saw it, right? Where he's like, no, I think that, the best scene is when you, that kid. No, scene. hold on. That kid is like, hey, this is my friend. He played tight end for University of Georgia for two years. He's like, I looked you up. You played one game for Army. He's like, what happened? You couldn't handle it. And he's like, no, they kicked me out. Yeah. 
it's too, too violent. violent. <laughs> and like the look that he gives him, there's like yeah. a dude. Like this kid like instantly is like, oh fuck. But the cheesiness the cheesiness of him uh where they, they chase him down the tunnel and he just, and he the, the guy comes out of the um out of the sunroof and he turns around and pops him from like, oh, from, like yeah, 50 yeah. yards away with with the desert eagle like dead in the <laughs> one know. handed like dead in the head. I'm like, really bro? Oh, <laughs> yeah. It's dude, it's uh, oh, but it's fucking it's just a fun show. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Don't expect it. It's not winning fucking Emmys. You know, but it's, yeah, the, it's yeah, fun to watch. They ain't got no scene, Emmys. It ain't for Ashtray. Fight scenes are fucking <laughs> And I think he plays a better Jack Reacher than Tom Cruise did. It's way more believable. Really? Shit that I this love dude Tom Cruise. Are you kidding me? No. I, I fucking I, love dude, Tom, the Cruise. Crazy, Tom Cruise. The craziness of Tom Cruise. <laughs> Tom Cruise believed he was Reacher. Look into his eyes, bro. Yeah, he know, was man. Reacher. <laughs> you can't tell him he wasn't Reacher. <laughs> All right, Eddie. In fact, he's coming for you right now. Set up. He's okay, a so um, <laughs> he's a midget. So I love playing my Switch. I have over a hundred games for it. Um, Jesus, but I, can't, I can't really. I can't. But I, I didn't like playing it handheld. Um. So I um. I bought, I buy, I buy a lot of stupid shit, and I brought this a while back. <laughs> Here's some more stupid shit from Teddy. <laughs> more stupid shit, Teddy. Boy. Um, <laughs> and it's pretty much, it's pretty much just a little, a little stand for it. Um, and I, and I love playing it like this. And I bought, I bought a little pro controller, and I do, I, I love it. It's, uh, and it's a big, a big help that the, it's now Bluetooth, so I can play it in bed and shit. It's mm-hmm. just prop it up, and it's um. I'm having. I, I needed something with a bigger stand because the original stand it comes with this little stick is fucking horrible. So you oh, actually yeah, kind of yeah, need the little, yeah, it's like, little tiny yeah, side thing, the little, little tiny, t- yeah, yeah. little tiny stick. Yeah, it's like the thing that you spread so, cheese on your crackers with, you know, and like a <laughs> snackable or whatever. So like if you if you want to put it on a bed or something, it's not going to stand up. So you actually need something like this. And I, I yeah, I haven't been able to put this thing down. So it it's comes with a stand. Uh, it is a. It's, it is a stand. It's kind of like a, you know, like a. Oh, okay, yeah. The controller yeah. is a stand. No, that's the no, it's thing not a, that you put the screen in. Oh, oh, well, gotcha. And yeah. then you can have the controller yeah. separately because it's Bluetooth. Yeah, the controller's linked to it. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, you also have space to slide the slide the ones on the side if you want to, but I don't like doing it. So. Right. But it, it's a, it's a very comfortable way for me to play now. It's fucking awesome. How much does one of those go for? Uh, the little the little thing I brought. I have no idea. I brought it a while back. Oh. Um, but I mean, you can. I mean, it's uh, um, but you can you can find uh, you can find things like this uh, uh for about twenty thirty bucks, I guess. Okay. I mean, me check them out. Yeah. But I bought this shit like years ago. <sighs> All right. Probably get them at the old GameStop. Now that they're never gonna fucking. Well, actually, run out you, of you money. find them. You can find more of them on, on Amazon. Hmm. Oh yes, sure. You get more of the, you yeah, get you more can of the find kind of more of everything on it. Yeah, go help. <laughs> give give some more to Bezos, right? <laughs> yeah, he needs it. Yeah, <laughs> poor old Bezos. He's he got, needs he's another got a, fucking eighty billion dollar fucking yacht. Right. He's gotta win. Gotta win the space race, bro. Gotta help out. Yeah, he's gotta get to Mars. <clears throat> he's gotta get to Mars. Anyway, Ashtray, Oracle's bachelor party. Yeah, yeah. Oracle. Yeah. Um, wait, who was it? Uh, it was Mystic. <laughs> who, oh, wait, wait, uh, is that what y'all did last weekend? Yeah. Yeah. You motherfuckers, y'all didn't tell me that shit. I mean, well, it was... kind of just came up with it on the fly, shit, but... Whatever, it was totally whatever, impromptu. Bro. <laughs> whatever, bro. I would've showed the fuck up. On, uh... I would've fucking, I would've fucking came from Chicago and fucking caught on a nervous flight. Was it Thursday? No, it was Friday, was it? Friday? No, it was Saturday. Like, well, it was Saturday, but um, we're no, Thursday. Days. I think I said. But yeah, I think oh, it was yeah, Thursday. Yeah. Mystic started it by asking me if I had a wedding. I was just fucking seeing if he wanted to fucking. Well, yeah, no. Bring some cocaine over. And uh, <laughs> uh, the thing is, Oracle <laughs> heard cocaine, and he's like, "I'll be down in a jiffy." And uh, <laughs> Jesus. So, it was uh, it wasn't like we planned it as in this is going to be your bachelor party. Oh but, uh, wow! It, but the uh, cocaine solidified it. Uh, we're just like, well, because this isn't going to be going out to uh, Rhode Island. 
Um, we couldn't find yeah, one I'm of those sorry, animal crates mistake. large enough for him to put him under tow. <laughs> so well, they got we a to go s- in the state of Rhode Island too. Yeah, there's only so much land. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> if I could take up two zip codes. <laughs> yeah. Um. So yeah, we went to uh, went over to the old Milwaukee, and uh, oh, Milwaukee. Met up at Mystic's place. I really like your new house. Or I mean, it's not that new anymore. How many years have been there now? Five. Almost five. Yeah. Um. It's yeah, it's better than that fucking picture. ghetto ass shit we had before. Yeah. Nice neighborhood, cool. Uh, in the ghetto, huh? And uh, then we went to Total Liquor and it Wine or whatever. And uh, then where'd you take us, Mystic? It was McGuire's. McGuire's, McGuire's. Irish Pub. Yes, you have to tell them about 62nd Chris. and Capital. Or National, 62nd and National. In Milwaukee, Pretty legendary. Wisconsin. Let's do this extra Owner. pause for the cause for Chris. For Chris. Chris. And his broken baseball Old dreams. Chris and his broken baseball dreams. Dude, he was Old. probably in the fucking big leagues. Old Marinara. 75 years old. When he was like early 20s. <clears throat> we're talking 50 some years ago. So he, I mean, we're talking the 60s. The yeah, late right. 60s, early right. 70s. He's probably like, boy, you could do dogs. all the drugs back then. Thoroughly bar owner. He played. He played uh, right around the time of Euchre. Then <coughs> I doubt he played with Bob Euchre. Anyway, hey, uh, old Chris serving marinara, <laughs> serving fucking Prego fucking you need spaghetti some marinara sauce. Marinara. Sauce. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we get this old thing classic Prego fucking <laughs> tomato sauce, spaghetti <laughs> sauce. It was <laughs> spaghetti it was sauce. Prego marinara. It was pr- it was it was it actually marinara it sauce? Say, was it, yeah, it was the oh, marinara good. type of prego. Oh, the okay, marinara okay. spaghetti sauce. Um <laughs> so <laughs> but yeah, it was this like uh what was the uh what was the fryer called? So it was actually my first time seeing this like auto fryer. Or some fryer. Shit? It was a it was a self contained fryer, Teddy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Received where like it had with its the fucking own external like coal filters in the back. Yeah, and so it oh. has a special little chamber. No, it was I like he's loading that. fucking ghosts and Ghostbusters into the safe. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. Yeah, you just like Set dump the them in there. It's an internal basket, and then the timer, and then it just dumps about the fucking little chute yeah, on the right. side. And then he, he a had that shit down, down though, like down. And he's to like, the oh, second. he's about to be done. And it, boom, they drop out, and he hits, bangs it with a rod, you know, this greasy rod that every, you probably get the loose ones out. <laughs> and um, then he'd fire the next batch in, set it for that, you know, oh, this is seven minutes and 32 seconds. Right? Yeah, and yeah, it, he had to add it down. He had it down to the second. Yeah. Um, it, was, it was just a cool, it was the first yeah. bar in Milwaukee that reminded me of being up north. Like, I could mm. see that bar in Marshfield. Mm-hmm. Just existing on the corner of fucking right. Maine. Yeah, you had yeah. to kind of pass like the litmus <laughs> test. Like he just yeah. insulted you for like two minutes straight when you're first yeah. in there. Yeah, and as long as yeah, you, you can pass that, it. then you're cool. Yeah. It's just the old <laughs> then we get guys, talking about what the oh. old guys fucking with the young kids. And right, Grant right. County, the pub. <laughs> yeah, it was like, a good Ted, time. This is the first thing he says to me. I mean, granted, it was a dumb question. I said. You have Guinness. And he goes, yeah, on tap, it's a fucking Irish pub. <laughs> I'm like, touche, dude. I'll take one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good <laughs> shit. Well, those, those wings didn't Irish save pub. me the next morning. That's yeah, for just sure. Just after uh, oh, fucking St. Patrick's Day, too. Right. I, I didn't even think about it, duh. Yeah. You know I mean? Of course they have fucking Guinness. Well, uh, yeah, <laughs> you don't go out to bars hardly anymore. Oh, I forgot how this works. Uh, right. Um, yeah. Then we just uh, <laughs> went back and uh, um, we really just hung out watching YouTube videos, doing drugs and bullshit for hours. Real it's fucking video, high on drugs. Yeah. 
video games. <laughs> we played some video games. <laughs> yes, it's a rage four. Fuck yeah. How did you? Um, I died like every single time halfway through probably. Because I suck it. Yeah, well, we were pretty fucking high. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Don't you for being bad at video games. Yeah, then uh, <laughs> we had to go back home, or well, we went back to Madison and had to be fucking back into the real world the next day. And then Oracle's like, you know, we're just going to have to stay up the whole night. <laughs> That's always what happens. <laughs> that's yeah, what happens, right? too. But what it does is it happens till about 5.30 in the morning. Yeah. And that's when you were getting real, oh, like, man. talk to me like this. You I was got starting that to feel <laughs> ill. Wobble, yeah. And I had to get you, I got you a bucket. And <laughs> I brought the bit of, of picture out. And, Dude, that um, was so fucked up the next gotta day. You got to lay down. I'm like, all right, well, if, if you're laying down, I'm going to lay down. I literally had only 30, it was like 45 minutes before it's like, all right, I got to start getting up so I can be showered and dress up to go to church for my, and be <laughs> there for my goddaughter's <laughs> baptism. That's a, true, that's a true Wisconsin gentleman right yep, there. Right yeah, right there. That's why I'm racing to the church. <laughs> in the I want to just told him that I would have just faked my own death or something. <laughs> right. <laughs> just forget about me. Get somebody else. Yeah. I was in a ditch, unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, a racing. Would you crash? Late. No, no, I just pulled over. I was tired. Slept oh, my God. Ditch. I was racing there uh, to get to the fucking church on time and got stuck behind three different goddamn Amish horse and buggies. Hey, of course, Sunday it's Sunday. Morning. I know, right? They're all going to church. It's like, fuck! Burgle, Wisconsin, and Sunday? Fucking Amish jam! Expect the horse delays. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyways, it was a fun uh, weekend, and uh, glad I'm not too old uh, yet. Yeah. I am. <laughs> that was a good time, yeah, but I'll, that is the like most like I've, I've thrown up. Uh, oh, did you really? throw up? You oh, yeah, up? I threw up like four times. Wow. And, and at then, my place? Yeah, at your place. Uh, you'll find it in bed. the corner. I, I did it in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> and then... You'll find I, it. Did I, you have I, to I, use the bucket? No, I, I was able to make Made it to the, the toilet. But then on the way back, I drove like an hour outside of Madison, and I couldn't feel my hands. <laughs> so oh. I... I had to sleep because you ever get that where you're like tingly and you feel like you're going to throw up like right before you throw up. Like I felt that way. Oh, yeah. And I'm oh, like, shit. fuck, I'm just going to sleep in this rest stop for a few hours. Oh. And then, it, well, yeah. and dry, th- throwing up while driving is terrible. You ever right. had that happen where it's like you're on the highway going 70? Yeah. And <laughs> no, <laughs> Jesus Christ, no. Right before a wedding, I was in dress clothes. Oh, and I had to. Uh, uh, oh my god! I, basically, I just had to lean <laughs> over and throw up in the floor in the mud mat, oh. the oh. rubber floor mat of the passenger side. And of course, you know you can't not get it over oh, the console and stuff. Oh my god! It took a lot of cleaning, but oh I then had to scramble god. at a fucking quick trip to get like paper towels and Windex to try to blot a couple. I got a couple oh. splatters on my dress pants, you know. Oh, oh my it's like God. I am I am five minutes from the fucking reception hall and I gotta oh. be there. Was this was this are a self inflicted sickness? Um <clears throat> that's the thing is I wasn't uh that was uh one where it's like I thinking back on it, like I I probably had too much kratom. Cause you take too much of that, <laughs> yeah. You that's why you can't really overdose it because it just makes you nauseous right away and you throw it up, anyways. Um, and that was kind of so early on was, when I was so it was self inflicted, yeah. But it wasn't like I was a uh, I wasn't like a super like hungover, like oh my god, I'm right. Going. You were just throwing yes, up. Was it a DJ? Was it a DJ gig? Yeah, that yeah. is a DJ gig. That's why I was like, fuck, Holy like shit. panicking because I had some puke on my dress pants. <laughs> <laughs> and Dude I had just them shows up covered in puke. And <laughs> right. What the yeah, fuck? Like a, <laughs> I'm, here for a second. 
I'm sorry for that. What kind of fucking gypsy bullshit is this? (laughs) 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 Never hire the gypsy to be your wedding DJ. (laughs) If it was a 12 year old gypsy DJ, would have showed up with a boombox or something. (laughs) Well, it's like it. Hey, $500 for this? Yeah. How am I supposed to explain that to like my boss? You like, oh, you weren't hung over from the night before? Like, you were not partying? No, I swear, it was just some of this herbal stuff I took too much of. And... <laughs> Lie and say you ate gas station sushi or something. <laughs> He's like, I made That's a mistake, true. dude. Yeah. All right. Anyway, all right. Now we move on to the fuck what you think. Uh, this is where we tell you to uh, fuck off and you listen. Oracle, doofus mode. Doofus mode. So I take some meds um, at night. I did just to taking it at night because it puts me to sleep. And I hadn't taken it during the day, but I fucking fell asleep with my clothes on, you know, and fucking bed and shit last night. And I, I didn't take my, my pills. And so I woke up this morning. I'm like, fuck, I forgot those goddamn pills. So I, I took the pills and I was just fucking idiot. Like, I, I I couldn't concentrate on fucking anything. And it's, yeah. you know, it's amazing how much you know, these little things, you know, you take them for granted. But when you need to be in a certain headspace and it's not there and you're just like, fuck, I have no motivation to do anything. Mm-hmm. I'm, yeah, and I'm just like clicking around on my screen <laughs> not accomplishing anything not yeah. like oh i should send my email and i think life? about it for like 30 minutes or whatever yeah what would be the best way to <laughs> right yeah and it was i mean it wore off after a while but it's like fucking a man i'm just a useless piece of shit right now <laughs> there you go doofus did you, mode did you have any coffee sometimes i caffeine did i did get you. yeah yeah, I, I had coffee. That was the only thing that was different is that I, I took that in the morning and uh, it just totally fucked my ass up. Like, oh, on yeah, the you face, normally take it at night because it makes you like, yeah, Rrr. well, it makes you like, Rrr. and also like on the face, like if you looked at me, you'd be like, oh, yeah, he's fine. But in here, the gerbil is like jerking <laughs> off the other gerbil. The you fucking... got two gerbils in your head? <laughs> <laughs> what is it? What? Is... Uh, hey rod takes some shit like that and uh-huh. when he takes it for about half an hour he's the dumbest human being that i've ever talked to like <laughs> online like he'll be like <laughs> if, if we, if we call it the dumb hour because he'll take it and like <laughs> if we're playing a video game i have to lead everything we do like he's just right. like huh? <laughs> uh, and then like he'll be all right after about yeah. half an hour and i don't he takes uh what gabapentin i think it's called I, I don't know What's what that, that is. Is it an SSRI? It's like a nerve. I don't know what that is. He oh, has that's like neuropathy. A, okay, so that's a different thing. But oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I and I guess some people have have these side of you know everybody's got like all oh, different right. side effects or whatever. But I never really noticed it before until you know I'm like, God yeah. damn. And I, if the I thing is, is yeah. I was taking it during the day for, for the longest time. So was I just a fucking mongoloid that entire time? And I didn't even know. <laughs> yeah, we, we didn't want to tell uh, you because we're your friends. You start <laughs> meeting were, people that you, your that you met during those half an hour intervals. Right. Like you don't remember them and shit. <laughs> like, told one you'd be like his fucking daughter's godparent and shit. Right. You said you love Susie. What are you talking right? about? Bill? You didn't show up to the church. Bill, service. what are you talking about? <laughs> I was stuck behind an Amish car. <laughs> anyway. All right. Uh, now, up next is me. Uh, training mm-hmm. people. So, uh, at work, they're trying to train all the photographers on how to show edit, which is, you know, easier than photography. But there's a specific thing you have to do go editing you know what i mean it's a lot more you're not editing to someone's live video track so it's a lot easier to line shit up you have to try to do it yourself so there's like i'm I'm like training all these guys on how to do it so in case me or bill the other the show editors call in they have people who can 
can do the basics to get. But like when you try showing people how to do things when you've been doing it for a while, yeah, it it just you really realize how many shortcuts you develop hmm. as a lazy ass human being. No, you're not lazy. You're efficient. Right. Okay. Yeah, you're right. That's it's like you know. Because they're like, yeah, well, you have to explain to them why you're doing this. I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, yeah, you're right. Okay, I, so. I know what you mean, though. <laughs> yeah. You have to do it long form. Yeah. Where you actually, like, I instead of it. using any of your short or your, your keyboard key, you actually just click every goddamn file. Yep. Edit. Well, it's not Objects. even just that. It's Transform. The, Q. Right. Bloop. But it's the, it's the, the cheat things that I do. Like, like, uh, like, like I don't necessarily fucking time out certain things to the script. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you're supposed to, but I know I have to show them how to do it. Hmm. Because I've been doing it so long, I know that that script is, I can look at it and be like, it's 25 seconds if I have 40 seconds of video. I don't have to read it. It's just a fucking, hmm. you know, generic mm-hmm. script. It's just, yeah. okay. Like, right. But But I have to be like, okay, so have to read this and blah time out the fucking you know like <laughs> right so it's just it's standard just operating irritating. procedure yeah it just gets here you have to follow the rule mm. yeah <laughs> all right anyway Can't cut the corners <clears throat> any fat face to thomas oh god load <laughs> these <laughs> fucking clips uh can you still do it where the audio comes through um but otherwise it, it shows the there you go it's got the uh look at she's like oh yeah we want to turn now um, to an exclusive cbs jenny thomas the wife Tonight, of clarence thomas guy in the robert supreme Costa court Bob- who um second black man he is now uh let's President see Trump's um she oh he's in the hospital that's what it is infection um since yeah, friday and the last couple of days, they were like, mm, the Supreme Court's made no comment about Clarence Thomas's condition. And uh, then now it just came out, like, uh, I think the Washington Post got a hold of uh, these, you know, public records of the text exchange between Mark Meadows and Clarence Thomas's wife, Ginny. Old fat face Ginny. Um... She, oh, fat face. <laughs> she's saying shit like the first she sounds like a speakeasy fucking. <laughs> she's like we like got singer a, from um, back in the thirties. Basically shit. encouraging um, Mark Meadows that you got to make Sidney Powell remember the crazy uh, lady. Oh, yeah. who, um, like, do not concede. It takes time for the army. It's gathering for his, to gather for his back. Yeah, I all this that. like stand yeah. firm, Mark. Left tastes their power. You are a leader. The majority knows Biden, and the left is attempting to change history. Um, yeah, and then yeah, it's so, pretty crazy for a fucking sitting Supreme Court justice to have a wife. To have a wife who's that is openly active. fucking, yeah, open, openly taking the yeah. side of of, a, of one political party over the other. That's crazy yeah. to me. This fight of good versus evil, evil always looks like victor until the king of kings triumphs. What the yeah, fuck? The what king the of kings? Fuck? What kind of fucking language does that is even that? mean? Yeah. Right? It's like they're talking in this kind of like <clears throat> biblical, you know, like uh, you know, we're at the levers of power, and um. Right, like it's Illuminati just type shit. And then, like, so you know how these records, how these text messages um, found out is because it was uh, the, the Supreme Court ruling on whether the commission should have access to these um, exchanges. And the Supreme Court voted um, in majority. Everyone voted for it except for one vote, which is Clarence Thomas. Wow. He was the one dissenting vote. Of course, hmm. of course he was. Do you think this... And he's now, he's now out with an infection. Right. Do you he's think that the infection, infection thing is complete bullshit? Yeah. I, he, he got a fucking they caught, they caught us infection. Yeah, yeah right? right? He probably got a... Yeah, that like they... Oh, I'm sure they knew that like the timing that like they're, they're going to find this stuff and it's going to come out. Right. Um, because the story only must have, I think, 
hit just this afternoon. So fucking yeah, it, weird, uh, though. But you said you cut it. We didn't even was it cut last it night until no tonight. Like I don't even think it got into the show till about six after six o'clock, probably. Yeah, just uh, from the uh, so yeah, it just dropped system. today, sometime earlier. So weird. Yeah. It's like these people, these like they're like larping on power, like weird. <clears throat> Like what, King of Kings? It's not the even. The fuck are you talking are... about, you fucking weirdo? I know, right? <laughs> it's just kind hey, of man, like don't, fuck, don't uh, fuck with the Jesus. Nobody fucks with the Jesus. Well, Is that it's who just they're such talking about. Are they talking about conservative Trump? Camelot? You know, <laughs> like the you know Knights of the Round Table, kind of like we're gonna take back the freedom of America. Right, I right. Guess. Yeah, they think, they think they're patriots. Like they think they're like. The fucking, you know, the founding fathers of yeah. This is like the right. I I can't stand that argument. Like this is my country, and if you don't like it, get the fuck out. You know what, motherfucker? We were all born here too. Yeah, this is my country too. You know what I'm saying? Like you got to live with fucking certain decisions that political leaders make. You got to live with Trump. You got to live with fucking Biden. Shut the fuck up about it. Yeah, it's called like, you know, a like, democracy, right? Right, exactly. <laughs> it's called voting. It's called fucking. It's just. That are these people like in my country? It's just like, why did you have to buy land? It's nobody's <laughs> country. Oh, you know, yeah. people like the ownership but, idea. That my now country. We're getting, now we're getting all meta. We're all citizens God, of the earth. <laughs> Hetty, Jesus Christ! You, what are you doing? Oh, playing the switch. <laughs> playing this fucking switch. Oh. He's a real uh, in-depth yeah, he's investigator like so, here. Folks. So fucking yeah. high, yeah. like. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I thought he was I, just like chilling. He's like, in fucking zone, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting good. Oh, I got to change clothes. Never mind. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but what a, okay. yeah, GD, be, be, whatever that was. <laughs> I guess that extra pause right, for the anyway, cause. Teddy, you're up. Annoyed by a homeless woman. <laughs> okay, so. um. Oh, did you share that clip? Can we play it? Uh, If you want to play the clip. Yeah, again. pull it up on okay, the uh, messenger feed. <sighs> but give us the background. Um, okay, so uh, the story I heard about uh, she's she's been in in the area because we do have homeless in the area. Um, she parked her cart right outside the door. Um, she came in, uh, and sat down, ordered some food. Uh, somebody bought her some food. Um, um, and she stayed pretty much all day. Um, and then she went to the bathroom and locked the bathroom door. Uh, and was in there. She she did this like right before closing. And was in there for like 45 minutes after closing, uh, taking a shower. Uh, or in, in the in the our bathroom we didn't have a, didn't have a um that didn't have a uh, shower proper shower <laughs> yeah yeah a bird bath and, is and um taken. yeah it's just uh it's 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 uh and, and then she uh if it's just if it's not our restaurant it's the other restaurant that she goes uh, that's next door she goes and just sits just sits there and um. Uh, and so we we uh, we were like okay we, we, like we uh, he was like we're not gonna let her in this time she just she just sits there and she doesn't smell very nice and it's 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 not very yeah <laughs> so, he, so he told her so we told her we weren't gonna let her in and she started flipping out and and when she saw there's people inside she just started yelling just yelling obscene shit uh, the guys uh, what, the, the four guys at the table construction workers they were recording. Uh, they thought it was funny as fuck. Um, <laughs> yeah, they were laughing. They were laughing. Like, I just want some pizza. And people were like, it didn't get pizza, guys. <laughs> um, she accused. Uh, yeah, they said this video, yeah. Um, they, uh, she accused us of uh, sexually assaulting her. Uh, she said. She said she was pregnant. Uh, she had cancer. Um, it is good. She, uh, yeah, she said we, we filmed her in the bathroom. Um, and just yelling. You know, I'm like, dude, we called the cops. They got there like, got there like an hour and a half later. And I, I get there. So, right. Right. Like, right. It's like it's just another call for a stupid homeless person who's just yelling. Yeah. Like, they're taking their sweet ass time. She said a white woman been stabbed. Oh my God, hurry up. And we're, we're on the lookout for it because our, our patio season is getting ready to start. Oh, God. Um, so, and we, uh, we, the, the front of our restaurant. The patio section and stink the whole place up. 
Well, no, the front of a restaurant <laughs> opens up. And, like it, 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 the door slides all the way. Oh, up. they should take the whole restaurant up. Yeah, so I don't want to like coming by and like yelling shit to the restaurant. Right. So at that point, do you call the cops or what? I mean, yeah, you mean you have to call the cops. I mean, it's. Yeah. it's I mean, I, I can't. I can't like. I can't put it. Can't physically move or anything. I mean, yeah. That's assault. What's the? It'll be okay. Mommy, what's the? Mommy, what is he killing the lady? No, just put it to sleep. Just put it to sleep. Just put it to sleep. You guys should get a garden hose. Like a fucking handle. <laughs> right? yeah. like a no. like a mangy dog. Just like when she comes by, don't spray her, but just be, be like, I'm just watering the plants out front here. Fucking spray, you know, like get all next to her and shit. Dance, bitch. Or fucking... <laughs> anyway, wash your feet. <laughs> In all seriousness, go fuck yourself, Jay Z. I don't know why. I just don't like him. That's our show. We're going to be here every Wednesday or Thursday, 10 p.m. Central. Make sure you join the conversation at theredeyereport.com or facebook.com slash theredeyereport. And you cannot twiddle us, so go fuck yourself. Like a sheriff's fuckers, we're down for whatever. (laughs) I'm more gastry. God damn it. I'm Teddy. (laughs) God damn it. I'm Teddy. The Red Eye Report. Trying to kill his Moldova. Damn. I don't know what strain it was I grabbed tonight, but I baked. <laughs>